Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Walter Drake. I'm here today to talk about our giant calendar and this is something that I I cannot live without. I've been using this for probably about um, almost three years now. And uh, just um, people get a little kick out of it because I highlight the heck out of this and mark everything that's related to kids, the family, things that we have going on. And it's right there on the refrigerator. Um, and what I like about it is that it's large, it's giant, and that I can put multiple things down on the same day and um, it's easy for everybody to see. And so I thought I would just share, this is my own personal calendar with all of the family's things that are going on. And so I will just hold this up back here. This is from January this year before things were kind of shut down. And then after that, uh, the calendar gets pretty open. But um, so a little bit about the calendar. It is around about 14 by 21, so really good size. Uh, what I like also about it is at the bottom of every page, you'll kind of see what the next two weeks, uh, where those where the dates and the days of the week that they fall on. And then also um, at the top, then you kind of have your other surrounding calendar views here, which is really helpful. And it's just really easy to see. So if I am in the kitchen, no matter where I'm at, I can kind of look at the fridge and then I understand um, what's kind of happening uh, for this time frame. And as you can see, there's a lot of different <laughs> highlights in here. And so my kids, depending on the sports, if it's dance or things related to school vacations, um, for me, it's all kind of color coordinated. So I will just show you the current month, which maybe by the time you're seeing this, um, it, it's not September anymore. But uh, here you can see is that... Um, Again, all of the things that I said about the, you can see the next two weeks. Uh, what's interesting, what's really great about, for me this year, is that my kids are kind of on this hybrid learning for school. So every other day, it's virtual learning at home, and then on the opposite days, then they're at school. I can mark all of those on here and, and know, and actually they can know, instead of, they're always asking me, is it a school day or are they staying home? So they can look at this. Also, if someone is going on vacation, um, if it's sports on the weekends, and so that when we make uh, plans down the line, we can look to see if we have anything kind of going on. And then, of course, birthdays. I usually start the entire year on a new calendar, marking all the birthdays uh, for friends and family on the month so that I just know them ahead of time. And then you can kind of see upcoming in October. We're still busy. Things to do with the kids, which is really actually I'm okay seeing because soccer, things like that is all kind of starting back up, obviously continuing to be safe um, and making sure that we're staying healthy. Um, but when if you're interested in the giant calendar, you can get a one year or a two year. And one note on the two years, so what you'll get on the two years, you'll actually get two of these, one for 2021 and then another for 2022. Um, and don't make the same mistake I did when I first got it. I started marking in all the birthdays and then I realized I was on the second year calendar. Um, and so then I kind of had to start over. Um, but what's great about that is for me right now, I'm on my last one, so I need to place another order for two years is I already know things that are coming up in January, February, March. Um, and I would love to write them all down, uh, but I don't have it yet, so I gotta place that order. But what's great about having that two year is that you can. So as you're getting midway through the year, towards the end of the year, you already know things that are gonna be coming up in the next few months. So you can go ahead and mark those on the calendar. I actually hang this with a magnet on my fridge. Um, it can get a little heavy in the beginning, so just make sure you have a heavy duty um, magnet. Um, but otherwise, you can rip these off. I don't because I just like saving all the birthdays and then writing them again on the, the next year's calendar. However, so I just wanted to share this with you guys. I absolutely am in love with the giant calendar. I don't, I, I try to go all digital calendars and share everything on the phones and just for the family it just this just works best for us you can be on the phone talking to a friend they want to make plans i can just peek at this and 
and then I'm good. I don't have to kind of search for it on the calendar on my phone. So for right now, this is what works for us. Uh, so visit wdrake.com, go to the site. We actually have a lot of different calendars. And if you're looking at some like a mini magnetic calendars, things like that, all that artwork, that's our artwork. Um, and so that's another thing that I just think is so uh, different from what you'll find from our calendars for others. Uh, but if there's any other questions that you have, if you wanna see any other items, just make a comment and then we'll see what we can do. Okay guys, talk to you later, thanks.